What's up guys, Nate Bedrosky from Narrowway Homestead. I'm here on the second homestead and I'm going to go over my plan for demo and fixing this place up. And I mostly want to check myself after the fact and see if what my plan is, is what I actually did. I'm going to try to keep this video from getting too long, so I'm going to get straight to the point. It used to be a one-room schoolhouse. It is a block building and the block is pretty good. There's a couple of cracks, but for as old as it is, I don't think there's structural issues. First, obviously, addition, that gets ripped off. That's useless. The foundation's really uh, not that good, and the floor, yeah, the floor sucks. Once that's done, all the walls need to be demoed to a point so I can see what's in them. I've made some exploratory holes already. This second floor is two by six floor joists, too long of a span for them, so this whole second floor has to go. Because the second floor didn't used to exist, and it used to be a one-room schoolhouse, there should be no reason to think that these walls that are up here off of this floor have anything to do with bearing the roof load. And uh, quite obviously in this room, they don't. However, I will have to verify the integrity of the roof before I start ripping these walls out. So this paneling and OSB will have to come down. The roof will need to be replaced. That's one of the first places to start at. The roof doesn't need to be replaced immediately. But I need to tear apart everything inside and verify everything is going to be okay up on the roof. If it's not going to be okay, just the uh, roof joists will need to be replaced, or the rafters I should say, or need to be beefed up. Just depends what I find. Once that's done, all these walls up here will all come down, and then the entire second floor can come down. Once the second floor is down, these load-bearing walls can be removed. Also, the exterior walls can be, I mean, it's an exterior block wall, but they're pretty much framed out everywhere. So the integrity of that framing can be evaluated and I'll either rip it down to the studs or rip all the studs out. Finally, once the load bearing wall is removed, which is sagging terribly, both places of the house, then the first floor can be addressed and I can expect it to be pretty straightforward. Most of it, I believe, is good. Where they have the load bearing walls, there is no support other than just a random joist, which is why that wall is just literally sinking into the floor. The floor joists will be evaluated and replaced as needed, or if they're missing, definitely being replaced. The entire subfloor will most likely come up just because, well, once you're tearing this much into it, like you may also just finish, right? I'm going to have to figure out exactly what happened here to these joists, why they obviously failed in this in this room. First of all, there was way too much flooring. Um, looks like there's one inch tongue and groove boards with three quarter plywood and then three quarter, uh, what is that? I call it junk boards, like particle board and then some other type of flooring on top of it. So there's way, way, way too much flooring going on. Um, I haven't actually looked at this. This is obviously completely decayed and rotten. And I see some bugs. Don't know if we had termite damage or what may have happened, but obviously that's going to be a repeated problem unless I get to the bottom of it. Quite obviously, there's a lot of moisture that, uh, that exists in here, and we're in a drought, and that's mud. Not soft mud, but mud nonetheless. So we're getting water in here, and the water, this crawl space needs to be a lot drier. I'm sure there's some roof leaks. I highly doubt that has anything to do with why there's water in the first floor like that. As a matter of fact, I think I know the biggest reason. That would probably be the fact that this is a hill and it comes right to the house. And so water probably comes flooding down this hill in rainstorms and just pushes right against the block. So something needs to be done with grading back here, possibly with a, a drain pipe going around that would just force the water out away from the house and not into the house. The block foundation still looks really good, so that makes me feel happy. Um, the other obvious thing, there's no gutters up there. Don't know if there were ever gutters up there. Doesn't look like it. So gutters for the roof is going to be an important step to keeping water away from the foundation, along with figuring out something back here some kind of drainage that just forces all the water that wants to rush against the house away from the house. That's pretty much the demo plan. After that, it's gonna be the matter of uh, putting a second floor back in after beefing up wherever it is my load-bearing walls are going to go. They may not be in the same place. I'll have to either do piers or beams to hold all that, redo the crazy narrow staircase, 
and it'll just be building up from there. On the exterior, obviously the roof needs to be replaced. Because this was a one-room schoolhouse, the windows are all crazy. Um, they're gonna like extend into the second floor, which is what they used to do until they just randomly blocked them off. I need to do something out here. I might just do a facade of like sticky stone or do some uh, furring strips and vinyl siding. I've got a couple different options, ways I could go with that. I'm really not sure what I want to do with with that, but I know I have to get the moisture away and get all the uh, incorrect framing removed. And uh, yeah, I just have to get the moisture away from the house. It's amazing. It's held up as well as it has with the uh, moisture issues that to me are very, very obvious problems. Um, even the ground slopes on this side, and even though most of it is below the framing, it's not, it's not all below the framing. So, I hear the rain coming, guys. Can you hear it? I can hear it raining on the trees on the mountain. It's and it's about to hit those trees. Mins, you wanna go inside? Should we get you inside? What's that? <laughs> we could, we could do that. Oh my gosh, I can see it coming. That's hysterical. Yeah, I'm going in the house. We made it, Minion. We got rained on a little bit. That was tough. That was real tough. Uh, yeah, we'll find out if it leaks. <laughs> well, this is kind of cool, guys. You see all that water pouring down there? Remember when I was talking about how important it is to have gutters? Well, all of that is coming off of the roof and not going into gutters and not being directed away from the foundation, soaking through the foundation, making the crawl space wet, encouraging bugs, causing, you know, rot of the end of the joist by sitting directly on the wet block. If you guys have a, a house with no gutters, gutters are so very important to keep moisture away from your building and stop you from losing your entire house. It doesn't happen overnight, but eventually, it'll take its toll. Other things worth mentioning, needs a totally new electrical system. I'm quite certain it needs a septic, because I think it probably just drains into the creek out there. Um, whatever the existing septic is, and most likely needs a well-drilled or rainwater collection, which could easily be done off of the new gutters that I need to put on. So, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Obviously, there's just there's just some moisture issues that have happened in this house, and I don't think they're a big deal to address. But that is my game plan, and we'll see how closely along I follow that whole thing. And if you guys are contractors or have experience with any of this type of renovation, feel free to leave your comments below. That's how I think it's going to go, but I could be wrong, or maybe you have a different perspective. So, let me know. And, uh... I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.